Hey, CMS, I have some new arrivals here and I wanted to get them out today. So I'm making a video and I want to feature some of the new arrivals that I think you'll really be interested in. There are plenty also on the shelves that we didn't feature in the video, but come in and check all of them out. Uh, first and foremost, I have three books to add to the Ashley Project series. I don't remember who had requested these, but I ordered titles in to fill in the gaps. So if you were the one who requested those, there are three to fill that series. So come and check those out. Here's one called Dirt Road Home. This is a sequel to Alabama Moon. This is about a boy who lives in a boy's home. His dad is incarcerated and he, uh, if he get has good behavior, he can get out of this home. And there's all kinds of troubled kids and obstacles that get into his way. So that one looks good, it's fiction. And then we have a ton of graphic novels to add to our graphic novel collection. Here's a cute one. Here's uh, Grumpy Cat, the graphic novel. Uh, I couldn't resist. I love cats and Grumpy Cat. Here is the graphic novel to Hollow City, which is a sequel to Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. So if we have the first graphic novel in that series. Here is the second one. Then we have graphic novels by uh, Rick Riordan for the Percy Jackson series. So here's one for the Lightning Thief and Percy Jackson and the Olympians. So if you are a fan of the Lightning Thief and, and that five book series, definitely you'll want to take a peek at the graphic novels. We also have a couple graphic novels for the Skylanders books. And here's one for Angry Birds. I don't know if that's still popular, but along with Grumpy Cat, I thought it looked fun. So I ordered it so much fun to spend the school's money on books. I think you guys will like. Here's a football book. This is fiction by Paul Valpone. This is called Top Prospect. This has been in a lot of reviews I've been reading. So if you like football and you like to read about boys who play football and some of the things that they go through and struggles and obstacles and successes, that would be a good one. This is called uh, The Secret Sea, and this is about a, bo a boy who always hears a voice in his head before something bad or dangerous is going to happen. He doesn't know if it's like a guardian angel, a ghost, or what's going on. So he and his friends are on a subway platform and the voice says run and they take off running and the tunnel starts to fill with water. So this is kind of a suspenseful book, trying to figure things out, what's going on with that. This is called The Only Thing to Fear, and this is What If Hitler Had Won World War II? So this is kind of like historical fiction. This is maybe, I guess, a reimagining of what would have happened if the tables had turned and things had gone differently. So if you like World War II, Nazi, Germany, Hitler uh, books, that one would be an interesting take on everything. This is called Boy at the Top of the Mountain, and this is another World War II fiction book. And this is about an orphan who goes to live with his aunt, who is a servant in an Austrian household, a very wealthy household. So you can imagine in Austria, World War II, uh, all the things that go on. And this is by the author of The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. So if you liked that novel, then more than likely you'll, you'll like this one as well. Here are two more books in the I Survived series. This one is The Eruption of Mount St. Helens. And this is I Survived Nature Attacks. And this one actually has four different nature attack collections within the one novel. So those have been very popular. I've ordered several. And as long as you guys keep reading them, I'll continue. Here we have Emerald Green. This is the third in the Ruby Red trilogy. So if you've been reading those books, you can come and get the third one. Here's a, a book that is a memoir. So this is in the 300s. This is um, interesting. This is a, a, a girl and a boy who become pen pals. It's a school project and it's their memoir of continuing to write to each other for a period of six years and how one letter changed two lives. The boy that she writes to is from Zimbabwe 
And so this is their story and they actually meet. So I thought that was kind of neat. I don't know if anyone's ever been, had a pen pal project. Then I ordered these new Inside the NBA books. Here's one for the Golden State Warriors, Memphis Grizzlies, and the, those two play each other uh, in Memphis in just a couple weeks. We have the Los Angeles Lakers and the Cleveland Cavaliers. So I looked through these. They're short, quick reads. Uh, it tells, like, for example, with the uh, Memphis Grizzlies, so it tells not just about players, but it's going to tell about the arena where they play, uh, uniforms, coaches, the mascots, records, timelines, biographies, trivia. So it, it, it has a little bit of everything. Here we have a book on Shark Week. I don't know if you guys watch that on television, but that looks fun. And then we have two biographies. Uh, I went on ahead and ordered a biography about Donald Trump since he's our new 45th president. And here's one on Steve Jobs, the founder of Apple. Imagine how wealthy he is. Then we have an Allie Carter book. If you read the Embassy Row novels, and I have a lot of students who follow uh, Allie Carter's works. This is called Take the Key and Lock Her Up. So more mysteries and suspense and crimes to solve with that book. And then this one is called Midnight Without a Moon. And this takes place in 1955. So this is a civil rights book. And this is about a 13 year old girl and she's hearing about the civil rights and really she just wants to get to the North and she's not too worried about joining the movement. She just wants to get out of her parents uh, live on a sharecropper's plantation and they work for them. Uh, but then the next town over Emmett Till, a 14 year old boy is murdered. And so then there's a lot of controversy and this young lady decides to join the civil rights movement. So if you're into that period in history, you might like that. And then last, I'm going to read one book jacket today. This is called Hidden. It has an interesting cover. And this is, what if someone's future was entirely in your hands? For 14-year-old Alex, life on Hailing Island off the coast of England seems insulated from problems such as war, terrorism, and refugees. But then one day at the beach, Alex and her friend Samir pull a drowning man out of the incoming tide. Mohammed, a student and illegal immigrant, has been tortured by rebels in Iraq for helping the Allied forces and has spent all his money to escape. Faced with Mohammed's heart wrenching plight, Alex is quickly overwhelmed by a moral dilemma that seems so much lar larger than she is. Should she notify the authorities or try to protect Mohammed? Does she even know how to keep him safe? This affecting novel gives a face to a pressing contemporary problem as it follows a young woman struggling to be and do her best in unsettling circumstances. So there's a lot of controversy in the news with refugees and, and immigrants. So this is a fiction take on one girl's experience. And I don't know, maybe it'll help you learn something about yourself or things that are going on in the world today. So I think we have a great selection of new books. I know this is a long video, but it was a lot of books. I hope you guys will come in and check some of them out. And don't forget, it's February tomorrow, and you have exactly one month to read five or more of the Truman Award books. I emailed a bunch of people that are close to that goal today. So I hope that we can get some more people on board. There's plenty of award books to check out that are available in the library as well. So have a great, have a great day, Central students.